Hello everyone, my name is Ian Sterling. I am uh, the voice of Love Island and uh, I am a face and buffer it, both on ITV too. The series I comfort watch is probably Shit's Creek. It just reminds me of, like many people, I discovered it in lockdown. And it was just like a big warm hug and the characters are just so lovely. Um, the storylines are like really fun and you just buy into the people's journey and it was just like really feel good, really funny. It felt like you you'd f discovered this little um, secret that no one else knew about and then it won 40 Emmys and you realised, oh yeah, loads of people know about this. But there was a sweet spot up until the Emmy moment where you just thought you discovered this wonderful, bizarre, brilliantly acted and written Canadian thing that was just for you. And it was like, just what I needed in lockdown. So yeah, shit's Creek. A series that makes me laugh out loud is probably a comedy vehicle by Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee's comedy vehicle is one of my sort of favorite shows of all time. It's a stand up show but sort of a lot more than that it's got these really brilliantly filmed and um edited video inserts that sort of vary from very simple to like quite elaborate and stuart's writing's just um amazing like as a stand-up to watch somebody turn out th that that ma that many hours of stand-up to that higher level is like really impressive and it's a lovely, the, the thing that makes me laugh about it is it's so clear, clearly thought through and structured, but then there's just these little moments where you can tell he's just messing around. It's almost like jazz. He's just like these little ad libs where he just selects little words and little noises, little sections of the show that is so silly and um, that I really enjoy because I like doing that and the stuff that I make. So yeah, shortly he's comedy vehicle. For shamelessly binged, I was gonna you could you could go a bit high bro, but still be like, oh what a shame. But I'm gonna be truthful. And mine's is the Housewives of Jersey on ITVB. Not New Jersey, the American, I'm talking Jersey. Um it's incredible. The first episode, a lady. Um, shows up on a jet ski in a bikini to someone else's birthday and it causes it causes a ruckus and it sort of goes exactly like that from then on and it's just these like amazing women who are like fantastic characters funnier than most comics I've ever met obviously it's in Jersey so like it looks they, the places they go are beautiful and everyone's got like money and stuff so that's nice but it's sort of it's like, the thing I like about a British version of Housewives is like, um, it's got all the drama and stuff of the Housewives, but the the glamour in that just isn't quite right, which I, which I really like. Nobody, they sort of go to a bar, but it feels like you could see like an old man in the corner drinking like a pint of bitter or something. Like it doesn't, it's not quite that sort of um, airbrushed world of the Americans. And also cause it is British, it's shorter episodes and there's not as many. So it's not like when you start a reality TV series and you've got like 40 or 50 to watch. This is like six or seven. So yeah, Housewives of Jersey on ITVB. The show I think is the most underrated is there's a The Mist, the very popular film, has got a TV series on Netflix that's like really got some really quite brilliant bits in it. Um, so that, I don't know if it's underrated or as much as people haven't really seen it. And I think it is probably quite, it might be bad in places. I was very single when I watched it and got drunk and watched it on my own until sort of four in the morning. So my glasses might be slightly rose tinted, but there are really interesting bits in it. And the performances by the people who are in the sort of um, church bit of the mist. That was really great. So yeah, I feel like I've said The Mist too many times, but that's it. The Mist is my recommendation for an underrated TV show.
The series that made me cry most recently was probably not really a series. Gavin and Stacey's Christmas special. If I'm being honest, um, that really made me cry, and it made me cry happy tears, which I really like. That's so much more tricky, especially in character-based comedy, to cry to to care about the characters enough that you're happy for them, despite you know that they are fictional and that this happy thing has not happened. But because like a sad thing, I suppose, can trigger like an unhappy memory in you and set you off. But for a happy memory to happen, you have to be happy for the people. You know what I'm going to recommend? Genuinely, I don't know if you can get it anywhere. Weir's Way. Weir's Way, it was a an old, there was a man called Tom Weir, who's like sort of Bear Grylls back in the day from like the 70s, I think it is. He's a Scottish man and it was on Scottish television in the past and he used to walk about places in Scotland like and up hills and stuff and he had a wee Scottish accent and he thought like that and he'd up way up north and he'd go oh, look at this moss that means that that rock's been here for 5,000 years and he always had a little anorak and a little woolly hat on and there's a song about him that says Tom Weir and his wee woolly hat and it's just really hold some lovely television and me and my friend Greg who started sketch comedy together years ago like love him but he's like a really lovely man and it's like really interesting stuff about Scottish history and it's just really relaxing and wholesome and lovely.